Hi there. No, not, not you. Hi there. That's a really big bite. Welcome back to another video. Um, some, let me put a little more light on me. Shed a little more light on the situation. Yeah. Um, so great news. What's going on right now is something we like to call in the industry special effects. And I figured since I'm tackling such a serious topic today that it would be more beneficial to have two of me to explain this. So, let me turn the music down just a little bit so I can have your undivided attention. Your un, undivided attention. The topic of today's video is sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is a very serious issue and there seems to be a lot of confusion about it, uh, what it constitutes as. Um, and I think many men have lost track and are very confused as to the definitions and boundaries of what constitutes a sexual harassment. So I'm making this very important video to clear those things up and to help give you guys boundaries because a lot are being a lot of them are being violated and you're not even realizing it. So um things that are clear examples of sexual harassment is if you catcall, if you wolf slap girl like that wolf um, with the super long tongue in the old Tom and Jerry cartoons. That that, that is sexual harassment, for sure, no doubt about it. If you have a co-worker who's a woman and she is working in her cubicle peacefully and you hover over her and you put her your hand on her shoulder, um, she never asked for that. That is not the appropriate environment to conduct yourself that way. And that, that is also sexual harassment. If you continue to text and call a girl and ask her out even though she's repeatedly turned you down, excuse me, that, that too is sexual, sexual harassment. If you see a girl walking down the street and she's walking one of those little cute sh Sharpe dogs and she has like even has like the dog decked out in one of those little sweaters, like a Where's Waldo looking sweater. It's like custom fit for it. And it's like, you know how they walk? It's super cute. And it's kind of like has, those dogs all have, also have like a permanent grin on their face. Like, and they're just stoked to be alive 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, and you see her and you see that dog and you say hello to her, that, that's sexual harassment. And also, you're sexually harassing that dog. If an ex-girlfriend of yours is on holiday in Rome, or Greece, I'm sorry, Greece, not Rome. This is very important. And you are scrolling through Netflix trying to find something good to watch that you haven't seen before, guess what, that, that's sexual harassment. When those two things happen at the same time, they should not be having it. They should not have be happening at the same time. Um, so definitely, what helps is when you're in a situation like that. Um, if you find yourself even suspecting that those two things, even things that are somewhat similar, might be happening at the same time, uh, it helps not to think about the other, not to think about that woman. Um, so if you make sure she doesn't even cross your mind in any shape, way, or form. Uh, while you're scrolling through Netflix, or doing some, or it could even be Hulu. I mean, um, that that could count as sex harassment. Just as long as you're not thinking about her in any way, shape, or form, um, then it probably won't constitute as sexual harassment. Um, 
if a woman is desiring chocolate and you offer her chocolate, that is uh, physical assault. Uh, because what, what you're doing is you are offering the chocolate from a place that's very disingenuous. Um, many times, I'm sure you've heard that when women are um, sex starved or they are um, undersexed, they will often crave chocolate as a substitute. You as a toxic man uh, offering them chocolate um, in that moment is you basically, you might as well just be pulling out your ding dong. In fact, you may literally offer a ding dong, a hostess ding dong, um, and it's pretty, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, because we know what you're up to. We know what you're doing. Uh, you're basically offering, uh, you're basically offering what a woman would substitute with sex um, by proxy through your um, malicious uh, snackosphere that you are trying to arouse her. With. And um, this is, uh, these are, this, this is a very serious thing. So I, I, I don't really have much more uh, to shed on the subject at this time, but I just really, I've been seeing a lot of very problematic, questionable behavior out there, and uh, it's uh, really important for me to just at least give you, help give you guys an impression on um, a few things that I've been seeing going on out there that we can do better. I mean, do better, guys. Just do better.